I am a huge fan of a classic smoky eye. I feel like you can never go wrong with that. I love it. Never. Hi everyone, I'm David, one of the beauty directors here at Sephora, and today I'm joined by my gorgeous model, Barbara, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for being here. This is gonna be so fun. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a classic smoky eye and give it a fun, gorgeous editorial twist, just like you see on Barbara right now. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I've got Barbara's eyes taken down and clean, so we're gonna I'm gonna start somewhere you might not think when it comes to a smoky eye. I'm actually starting with the liner. A lot of times people get intimidated when they're creating a smoky eye. I think if you start with the liner sometimes, the depth around the eye like that allows you to build it a lot more confidently. So I'm gonna be using from Kat Von D. This is the Tattoo Pencil Liner. And this is in a shade called Violet Hematite. Yes, very cool. It's not a black, it's actually a really dark, dark dark purple, that's gonna enhance Barbara's eye color a lot. So that's why I chose this. So I'm gonna have you close for me. And the way I'm doing this is really classic smoky. So you don't have to worry about the eyeliner being perfect because we're gonna buff it out once we have it on. But I will say with this, as with many of the KVD eye products, once they set, they don't budge. So do one eye at a time, because once this has set in place, it's not moving. You can dance the night away and not worry. So I'm using the Sephora Collection eyeshadow brush number 15. You all know this is one of my absolute favorites. And what I'm looking to do here is just create a soft halo around her eye. This is a really smooth pencil, by the way. It glides so easily over skin. It feels really smooth. Right? Yes. There's no tugging. It blends really beautifully while before it sets. Again, <laughs> don't let it set if you want to blend it. Making sure I have similar saturation on both sides. Again, remember, we are creating a smoky eye, so this does not need to be perfect, so don't stress out about it. So I'm going to have you look up for me. And right now, I'm going under the lash line with this. This is like butter. It's so smooth. And what's great about these, like I said, not only do they set and stay in place, they're also waterproof. So they're really gonna last through anything you can do all night, all day. Hence the name Tattoo Eyeliner. Okay, we're getting to the hero product here. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Pat McGrath. I love Mother. This is from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Mothership Palette 9, Hutopian Dream. So what we're gonna do with this palette is, I'm gonna start by creating a classic smoky eye using just this really beautiful matte brown shade. And then we're gonna throw an editorial twist on it by adding some of these gorgeous glittery top coats. So easy to do, yet so dramatic and fun. So let's start. We're going to use the Pro Brush number 10. It's a slightly larger eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to go into the brown shade. So I've got it on my brush, and I'm just going to start tapping the product. I find a tapping motion makes for less fall down of the eyeshadow. So you can get a really nice saturation and less mess below the eye. And that tends to be one of the things that a lot of people get nervous about when they're creating smoky eyes. And as you can see, it just blends gorgeously into that eyeliner. So we're getting that beautiful, soft, blended out look with hardly any effort needed. And I want most intensity here at the lashes and I'm just tapping it up and letting it softly, again, smoke out into her natural crease, adding a little bit of extra depth in the outer corner. It's always really flattering on every eye shape. And these brushes are so, so good at creating a soft, blended out moment like this. You can see I'm not going back and forth like that. I'm just tapping this product into place. Just let the brush 
do the work for you. The brush feels nice. Soft, right? Mm -hmm, it's very soft. It's almost like a little eye massage. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Small circular motion with the same brush to just soften that edge up. See, we want that to really smoke out. That's the classic smoky eye technique right there. And if you do it like this, you'll find it's gonna really fall into place naturally and easily. And like you can see, rather quickly, you'll end up with a beautiful smoky look. So now I'm getting some of the product onto more of the tip of the brush here. Get off that excess. So I'm gonna have you look up and I'm going to go underneath and really saturating Again, closest to the lash where we applied that KVD eyeliner. Every time I try to do that, I get it all over my face. It's just and all over. That's the thing. It has to do with good tools, good product eyeshadow, and then also more of a tapping motion because that's really going to help it so out. It's a technique. It's a technique, yeah. And I think when you have the liner on from the beginning, it gives you the intensity there. So if you do get a little fallout or if you do go a little larger with the smoky area, it doesn't feel so messy. It's like, oh, okay, a little dramatic. It's really in that liner. And sometimes people get intimidated because they never see it fully through with the liner yet. Right. Okay, so as you can see, with just the eyeliner in this one shade, we've got the perfect classic smoky eye, quick and easy to do. Now I'm gonna show you how to make that really fun editorial twist by adding a top coat over it. This is what Pat McGrath palettes are known for, these really incredible textures and glitters. And I'm gonna start with this one right here. It's a really fun purpley, blue, pink kind of shade. I absolutely love it. And I'm using the eyeshadow brush number 13. It's a little bit more of a narrow, flat brush, and it's gonna allow me to press the glitter. I love glitter. Me, me too. I'm gonna have you close. And so what I'm doing is I'm just pressing right on top of that classic smoky look. And I'm gonna be using two shades. This one is the slightly darker shade, so it's going into the outer corner. And I'm gonna stop up just past the halfway point. And as you can see, I'm really just pressing this. I'm not swooshing side to side because I wanna minimize any glittery fall down I can. And I love this particular brush because it's so flat. It has the ability to press it in almost as if I was using my finger, which you could absolutely do with this, to be honest. 100% you could use your fingers. And again, going back in with the Sephora Pro number 13 eyeshadow brush, which is absolutely ideal for working with glitters. So I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna flip it over to the other side that I wasn't using. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is a slightly brighter, more golden tone. And then the same thing, I'm just pressing this right over where I was. I'm just staying more in the inner corner with this. I think that there's that common misconception that somebody who's slightly more mature can't wear glitters or mm -hmm. shimmers. And right. I think that this really shows that you actually can. You can you can have fun with those textures as well. Okay, so I already love this look. You could technically just add mascara and go, but I think it'd be fun to add a lash. Why not? We're going for a little more editorial look. So I'm gonna be using one of my new favorite everyday lashes. These are the Lily Lashes Everyday Faux Minx. I'm gonna pop these on and I'm gonna show you the finished look. Okay, Barbara, are you ready to see the final look? Uh, yes. All right, tell me what you think. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> Would you wear it out? Would you go out with this? Yes, I'm going out after this. That's the response you want as a makeup artist. I love it. I am Thank so you. thrilled. I hope you all enjoyed this as well and picked up a few tips here on how you can take a simple classic makeup look like a smoky eye and give it a fun editorial twist just with a few additional products. I love this. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any other types of editorial looks you'd love to see me create. We definitely are looking out for any suggestions. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos from us every single week. And until next time, pull out your glitters, pop them on, and let's meet out. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Thank you.